Ryan here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, gun receivers. So y'all have already saw the weekly tip video on the gun stocks. Um, if you haven't checked that out, definitely check it out. It shows really good techniques on rolling the gun stock. So uh, today we're doing another little bit and we figured we'd go ahead and shoot a video on it. Um, we're doing a, uh, this is actually a Super Black Eagle 3 uh, Benelli shotgun. So uh, we're going to be doing this and um, essentially what we've got here is, is we've got a, uh, a white cryptic pattern that the customer had wanted and so we're kind of going to go over just all the general basics of kind of how to dip a receiver and what all you need to know about it. So um, first thing is, is we've already blasted it back down, we've already primered it, we've already painted it, and so now we're to this part. Um, so pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out our film. Uh, you notice we've got everything already taped up. We've got our insides taped up pretty well, all inside here, all along our mag tube, and inside there, all right? And so now what we're gonna do is we're laying out our film, and so um, with the film, what we want to do is we want to have about an inch or so overlap or an inch or so extra over here and then as we roll it over like that, we have about an inch or so right there. So that way it gives us plenty of room to maneuver and then also, um, if you want to, you're more than welcome to, you can actually cut your film this far, but uh, in this case, it's just easier whenever you're rolling it, which is what we're going to be doing, is if you go ahead and you cut it the whole length of it, and also you want to be able to give yourself at least a little bit over on this one edge. Now this edge, you can just roll it by your hand like this right here, but on this, you need to be able to fit your hands inside the film, and so that's why if you put it right up close to this edge here, you don't want to cut it right here, all right? You actually want to give yourself a little bit of room, and so if we put it right here, I still have plenty of room to fit my hand down inside the film and be able to turn it, and then, because if it's right here, I can't quite, it's very hard to get my hand down inside it, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and just cut it off right here, cut it across, and uh, get it on the water, lay it down, and get ready to go with it. So we've got our, um, we got our tape all the way across on these two sides. This is the, really the only sides that I really need because these are my long sides right here. And so um, this film, it wants to roll up on us quite a bit, um, especially on these little bitty rolls like this. Um, so to fix that, we can uh, throw just little uh, three quarter inch tape is perfectly fine and uh, put it down through here and then it also helps in it rolling up on itself. So uh, again, we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of extra and we're just gonna go ahead and cut it right down here. So we can save this for another piece, set this off, and we're gonna go ahead and cut these edges right through there. And then we can pick this up and get it ready to lay down on the water. And so this film is um, pretty easy to work with. We just got it but essentially we're just going to lay it on the water just like normal and so there we go uh, 60 seconds on the timer and now we're going to pull all of our dividers in to help contain it as much as possible so we'll get that right there all right so that all looks really good another thing is like i was saying before we got our tape on these two edges right here you notice how this rolled up it's not really a big deal because it only rolled up maybe that far. Same thing on this side. If it wouldn't have hit this divider, then it probably would have rolled up, but I don't really care because I got plenty of room for extra. So we got everything smoothed out. Looks like everything looks good. No bubbles in it. So let's grab some gloves on and then we'll get started with it. So what we're going to be shooting is going to be the Liquid Concepts Activator. And uh, after I shoot the activator, I want you to get a close-up of the film here and you can kind of see a little bit of a difference. So on this film, we're actually going to spray it and let it sit, all right? Not a lot of films that we do that with, but in this case, we're gonna do that. And you'll see why here in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. So one pass, just like normal. And then if you kind of get a close-up of that, you can see in a good reflection, you can see it's not quite glassed out yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to let it sit 
for just a few a few more seconds than normal. And what you're going to find is is that um, as it's as it's sitting here, it's actually glassing out more and more. And so some films, not all of them, but some films will do that. And so now, if you actually take a look at that again you can see that it's really glassed out smooth and so that's what we want so now what we're going to do is is we're going to go ahead and dip this and so normally whenever we go in we're going to go in at an angle like this so that way we don't trap any of that air that's underneath here and then we're going to continue to roll it on so we're going to have a line right here and right here so everything looks good we got plenty of room to maneuver around we're going to start right back here and then we're going to go down. Now I'm not going all the way down. And then I'm going to come on down with it right there. And then we're going to roll it in. And then just continue rolling it all the way around just like that. You see my line there up top. And then we're just going to keep on going around with it. And so now that we've got that, we'll kind of rinse it off here a little bit. And then now you can kind of see that we've got a perfectly dipped, no stretch, pattern around the whole thing now yes it is a little bit harder to see because it is white but our line is almost non-existent right through there right through here customer will never really know it uh, we will probably hardly be able to see it now again this pattern is pretty forgiving so if we were doing a uh, different camouflage or something like that sure it would be a little bit more noticeable on this line right back through here but that is one of the things that you definitely want to remember is that whenever you're rolling a gun stock, you don't want to just go down like this and then just flip it, all right? Because if you just go down flat, just like this right here, you're going to trap a lot of air down in this portion right here. But what you want to do is, if you notice, I had, my, I had the gun receiver up just a little bit. So as I went down right here first, I went down in the back first and then... I came down here and so essentially I went at an angle this way and an angle this way and I stopped and then as I came down I rolled it around and so essentially I was able to let that air escape out from here all the way up and then as I rolled it around I made sure to keep an angle as I'm rolling it all the way around and then as I came around back to it what we've already dipped this first portion right here and as this film was coming back around once it hit it, it stopped, it's good, and we're good to go. So um, definitely not something for production style. Uh, most production styles, you've got 20 of these. They're all dipped just like this. They got a little bit of stretch on them. But again, for aftermarket, this is definitely the best way to do it and to get the least amount of stretch and the best coverage over everything. Now, again, it's going to take time. It's going to take practice on getting everything dialed in maybe practicing a little bit before you actually do it that always really helps me out whenever i'm trying to just figure out different ways different techniques on how to go in the water that really helps out but essentially going at that slight angle at the very first right here instead of going like this we went like that and then we made sure that we stopped right at that middle section right there and then as we rolled it on over Everything came over really good, and so now the customer is going to have pretty much a perfectly dipped gun, uh, gun receiver, and it's going to have almost no stretch on it because we was able to roll it all the way around. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of quick, simple, to the point, but I really think whenever you're doing uh, gun receivers, this is definitely something that you need to know and something that you know a lot of people they don't really realize and they they go ahead and they do it double dipped where they dip half of this half of this they have a line up top and a line on the bottom not really a big deal but whenever you get that single dip you got one time in the water and you got one time prepping everything out you're done and then if it comes out like this right here you're ready to go for rinsing clear coating and your job's out the door instead of having to go back and mask all this off, dip it a second time if you were going that route. All right. So again, um, if you've got another, if you got a gun stock receiver, or if you have a, if you, <laughs> Tyler, sorry. you're killing I'm me. Sorry. I want to roll too. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. If you haven't already, definitely hit the sub subscribe button. We'd love to hear from you guys on any of the questions, comments, even other videos that you'd love to see. We'd love to shoot them for you. And uh, 
We really enjoy these things. So I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts and we're making Hydrographics great again.